As thousands more breakthrough COVID cases come in every week, should that term still have the same meaning? CBS 17's Jody McCrary digging deeper tonight into why one expert thinks it is time for a change. Someone who got their last vaccine dose in April has much less protection than someone who got the booster. But if they both catch COVID, they count the same as breakthroughs. And one doctor says that ought to change. We need to look at how effective each of those additional doses is. The definition is an issue now with the Omicron variant leading to more cases in vaccinated people. So breakthroughs are uh, more prevalent uh, with Omicron than previous waves. In the two weeks before Christmas alone, DHHS added 17,000 breakthrough cases for a total of 135,000 since January 2021. And even more expected this Thursday when the numbers begin to reflect the spread over the holidays. But there's one important number we don't know yet. How many people with breakthroughs had been boosted? A spokeswoman for DHHS says they don't have it. We need to be clear whether we're talking about people with natural infection, and if so, how long since that, people who've had one dose, two doses, or now three doses getting a new infection. Redefining key words in the pandemic has become an issue. The CDC says it won't change the definition of fully vaccinated to include the booster, instead going with a different term, up to date. We need to redefine how we look at the vaccine series. So two doses really is just not adequate. Does waiting too long to get the booster put you at higher risk of a breakthrough? Click on My Story Online to find out. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary. All right, Jody, thanks so much.